Hi, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about watering your fiddle leaf fig plant. Now, I would say the bulk of the problems that people have growing fiddle leaf figs have to do with watering. And what I'll tell you is that far more often than underwatering, we see overwatering. Now, fiddle leaf figs are susceptible to root rot. In fact, that's what happened to Bruiser behind me. You can see some brown edges on the leaves, and that's because of overwatering. And so if you're having problems with your plant um, and you're not sure what's going wrong, start with watering and a good uh, foundational understanding of how to water your plant will really help you to um, avoid problems and to help your plant grow healthy. Now the trick about watering is that it's not just that you can water the same um, every single week and that you'll be fine. If I could tell you, give your plant one cup of water per week uh, for the whole year and it'll be fine, it would be easy, right? But I can't tell you that because it really depends. It depends on the size of your plant. It depends on the size of the container. See, larger plants are gonna use a lot more water than smaller plants. Larger pots are gonna stay wet longer than smaller pots. So if you have a small pot that you brought your plant home from the nursery in, you're gonna have to water a lot more often because because those are actually grown at the nursery or the grower where they water them every single day. And so if you haven't repotted your fiddle leaf fig, it's in danger of drying out. And that's almost the only time that I ever see fiddle leaf fig plants dry out is if they're in their original grower pot because those are designed to be watered every single day. And so I encourage you to repot your plant as soon as you get it home to give it proper drainage and to give it a little more um, resilience when it comes to over or under watering so that your plant will stay evenly moist longer. Um, and so if you have a very large pot that isn't draining well, it's going to be really susceptible to overwatering. And so if you have a large pot in general, you're gonna to wanna to water less. If you have a smaller pot in general, even after you've repotted, you're gonna water a little more often. It also depends on sunlight. And so if you have a plant that gets a lot of sunlight, um, it's gonna use up more water. If you live in a drier area, you're gonna burn through more water. If your plant's in a dark area, um, like a dark corner of your house, you're gonna use a little bit less water. So I have the same size pot of fiddle leaf fig trees that are about the same size of plant. And one of them is in a very, very sunny corner of my office. The other is in the darkest corner of my house. What's great is that they've both adapted to these conditions and they're both doing very well, but I only water the one in the dark every other time that I water the one that's in the sunlight. So it really depends on you know what type of sunlight and what type of growth your plant is doing. They will also use more water in the spring and summer than they do in the fall and winter, and that has to do with light, and it also has to do with how actively they're growing. So all of these factors play into when should you water your plant? And so what I would tell you is that it really depends on your plant, on the size of it, the size of the container, the potting soil that you've used. So if you use a basic indoor potting mix, that's actually gonna drain relatively slowly than if you use something like a cactus soil or an orchid mix that are designed to drain really quickly. And so you're really gonna have to figure it out um, for yourself and really check in with your plant each week and see that if it's you know, still moist from the last watering, you're gonna wanna skip this watering. And so what I tell people with their fiddly figs is the easiest way to learn how much water that your plant needs is to get a moisture meter. And so you can get these amazing moisture meters on Amazon, they're cheap, and you stick them in at the root level. So you'll stick it into your um, plant's container all the way down to where the roots are and you'll see whether or not it's wet and it'll give you a reading. And so you only want to water your plant if it's not still wet. And so around a four, and there's a scale of one to 10, a four is where I say, go ahead and water. So there's two styles of philosophy when you think about watering your fiddle leaf fig. One is that you can water it all the way through so the water drains out the bottom and then you can wait for it to dry out until you water it again. And so in that situation, like the plant behind me, if I do that, um, water it all the way through, so 10% or 15% of the water runs out the bottom and then of course drain the container so there's no sitting water at the bottom. I'm only gonna water that plant every two, maybe every two and a half weeks 
The other style of watering is watering a small amount more often. And so for this plant behind me, that would be maybe one or two cups of water every single week. And so I encourage novice fiddle leaf fig owners, if this is your first plant or if you're not comfortable with house plants, start with the second method. Give your plant, if it's a small plant, one cup of water every single week and see how it does. If you see signs of overwatering like brown spots or dropping leaves, cut it back to less water. And so, um, you know, one cup of water every week is a really safe place to get started for a medium sized plant. And so I encourage you to start with that. And so read the tips and tricks below, get yourself a moisture meter and the trick to watering is really to watch closely and to err on the side of underwatering. So if there's any question in your mind, if you're overwatering or underwatering, cut back a little bit. If you're seeing any problems with your plant, you'll know that you're underwatering. If your plant looks very droopy and dried out, it'll be pretty obvious. Check out some of the pictures of dry plants below. We really don't see that too often. We see it if you go on vacation, maybe for a couple of months and your plant sits in a hot house and it gets really dried out. Or like I mentioned, if it's still in the growing container where the whole root ball dries out. But if you've repotted your pot, your plant into a good container that has good drainage and good indoor potting mix, you're much more likely to overwater. So just um, consider that when you're deciding each week, when you check on your plant, you decide to water it. Just use a moisture meter, and if your reading is around a four or less, go ahead and water either until it drains out the bottom or with your one or two cups per week. If you have a very large plant, say a tree that's nine feet tall, you could be doing four cups a week. So just find what works for you and be sure not to overwater your plant. I hope this was helpful, and take a look at the notes below.